Hey all and welcome to Paint It Plastic People. If this is the first time meeting, my name is Charles and I help aspiring and beginner miniature painters learn to save time and money by teaching them to paint fast and effective. And in this video, I'm doing a little bit something different where I'm going to actually just be finding questions on the internet about miniature painting and answering them all in this video. So let's do it to it. So the first question here is what brand of paint should I start off with? as a beginner miniature painter. I would say you can start with either Citadel or Vallejo. Uh, with Citadel, you have the benefit of their uh, naming methods. So they name things as a base, a wash, a layer. So you know they use layers for highlighting, bases for bases, washes and shades for washes and shades. And they also have like the scaling for like what colors. So you go from like a dark red to the, the mid-tone red to the upper bright reds and they have like a little scale so like they'll say you can buy this red you can buy this red and this red and you'll get the natural highlight that way so that's good uh, but if you go Vallejo's way their paints are very consistent in their thickness so you basically if you know how to thin one paint from Vallejo you know how to thin all the paints from Vallejo so they're very beginner friendly and they'll just help you out a lot that way another question here is uh, what brushes should I get for close and small details? Looking for suggestions. You can get a size 0, 1, or 2 would probably be your best bet. Though any paintbrush you have that has a very nice point to it is where you want to go. I wouldn't worry about uh, brand names or anything like that. You can get cheap uh, brushes from like a craft store or something or something like that with a nice point on them that'll stay. You know, um, I buy ones from Michael's craft store. You can also buy like, you know, brand name brushes as well. You, you know, Citadel makes brushes, Army Painter makes brushes, um, you have, like all sorts of different companies do make brushes. Anyone have any tips for how to complete eyes? Okay, so you can get like a small brush like we were just talking about, like you get a fine detail brush, a zero, a one, or a two, and you can just get a little bit of white in there then clean up the surrounding area if you want, or you can do this afterwards. Then just get like a dark, a black or something and just dot in a little pupil. Just being really careful is the way to go. Uh, and then just clean up the skin tone and whatever afterwards if you've already painted that in. You should probably go for eyes first if you're going to be doing them. But for me, I don't really paint eyes all that often um, because it doesn't really look natural unless like somebody has like a big glowing eye or something then that's when I will paint eyes but for the most part it doesn't look uh, natural at this scale so you can really just paint around it and then just kind of flood the eyes with some wash or shade and it'll look just as good plus I find a lot of the time you get this weird like anime eye thing going on when you uh, <laughs> when you uh, do eyes and like you know you got a guy looking up and down at the same time it's really weird another question here is do i need an airbrush uh, short answer no long answer is you don't need one as a beginner miniature painter you should really learn to do all these techniques and such with a brush first learn to get these techniques down first and then after that once you kind of feel like you've plateaued or you can't take those techniques any further, then you could go to an airbrush because that can really raise your game. And at that point, you'll know if miniature painting is for you or not. Some people get into it and then realize, I don't have the patience, maybe I don't have the time or the room or whatever. So throwing like $200 at an airbrush and compressor can be a really bad investment. So I would say save your money instead and just work with what you got. Find out if you want to stick with the hobby, if you got time, room, and patience for it, and then go into uh, thinking about committing to an airbrush. This last question is, I mean, uh, what consistency should I be aiming for when I thin my paints? And really with this one, it's a bit of a tough one because thinning your paints is more art than science, to be honest. So you want to kind of aim for, what I've kind of always aimed for is kind of this like melted ice cream. If you want to like the Warhammer YouTube channel, um, like their official YouTube channel, they do painting tutorials and I'll, they'll always show themselves thinning their paints. And this is one trick I've picked up where you kind of just put your brush in and you just want to get the tip into the water and get that wet and then come back and like thin your paint a little bit with that. 
This way you're getting as little water as possible and then you can thin it in and then if that looks good to you, you can just keep going with that. Or you can just come back in and the same thing, just get the tip in there, get it a little wet and then come back and thin it. You want to put in as little water as possible each time you go in because you don't want to flood the paint and then it gets too thin. It's tough to thicken the paint back up rather than to actually just uh, thin it down. So just going in as little as water as possible every time and just thinning it down like that until you have that sort of melted ice cream look. And then once you have that, you should be good to go. So I hope those answers helped you out. I hope that that's gonna help speed up your miniature painting, improve your miniature painting. Uh, if you have any questions you want answered in another video, because I plan on doing these like every week, try to do at least one of these videos every week, um, you can post down in the comment section below. Uh, if this helped you out, hitting the like button, hitting subscribe, hitting that bell icon. Uh, so you never miss a video. Uh, sharing the video with any other new miniature painters that you know or anyone that maybe uh, had these questions brewing around. It's like, oh, well, here you go. Here's a video. Throw it up there. That'd be awesome. If you want, you can follow me on social media. Uh, all the links are in the description. And remember, get it to the table and have a good day.